Welcome back to another video. My name is Callan and I'm currently reacting to every single A24 film in order. Today we're on movie number 43, Oasis Supersonic. Now before we get started, I'd really appreciate it if you please subscribe to this channel down below and follow along this journey with me. Also, if anyone is interested in signing up for the Triple A24 membership, please consider using my referral code down below. Now with that being said, let's get started with movie number 43. As always, starting off with the A24 logo, of course. I'm pretty excited for this movie because the same people that produced Amy also produced this movie, and I really enjoyed Amy. Oasis gears up to rock a quarter of a million fans. We're live from Nebworth. In just over three years, Oasis will have gone from being a new signing to one of rock's true giants. That is insane, the amount of people there. And also insane just how quickly they rose to fame. I can't even imagine being in front of that many people. I think that would freak me out. That is way too much pressure. But also, if you're able to do it, that must feel incredible. Having all those people want to see you and singing your songs. There we go. Oasis Supersonic. Also, imagine being in this crowd. That must have been so wild. Oasis's greatest strength was the relationship between me and Liam. It's also what drove the band into the ground. All right, three years earlier. Let's see their start. It's so cool that they were able to get this footage to show where they started from. And then also to show that huge show that they were playing. <laughs> Is that the Medivia? Yeah. They had two sons, yeah. Oh, even before they were famous, they were talking about, you know, the story of Cain and Abel, which very much so kind of foreshadows their future. You know, just these two brothers not getting along. Yeah, I mean, once I discovered weed and guitars, and he got into another world. What would you want to go out for? He was a devil, Liam. Full of us. And I think one day, some rival skill turned up and boshed him on the head with an hammer. This kid's pulled out this little f***ing hammer and went whack on my head. That is insane. Like an actual hammer? What the heck? That's crazy. I started hearing music. It started making sense, you know what I mean? So, whoever he is, thank you. That's even crazier. Being bashed in the head and then suddenly becoming incredibly talented. Liam came around my house. His voice was just like, whoa, you know, it's like, yeah. And there was a post in our room with the Inspiral Carpets. It's that f***ing name keeps coming up, Oasis. Kind of a little bit out on our own. It's not the most exciting origin story for the name Oasis, but so pretty cool to learn about nonetheless. I said, how's Liam? He's the singer. He's the singer. He can't f***ing sing. Oh, I don't know now. He said he's the singer. I love that. Just no faith in your brother being a singer. Imagine being at this concert and being one of the first people to see them. Although this is not the full band and obviously not their prime, but it's still a pretty cool thing to say if you were at this show. It's so great, even from the get-go, even from the beginning. We're gonna get rid of Phil Collins and Sting. Junk music, McDonald's music. It is very ambitious, thinking you can overtake Phil Collins and Sting. I mean, you gotta have that ambition and drive. We were sharing a rehearsal room with an old girl band called Sister Lovers. One of the girls in the band, Debbie Turner, was an ex-girlfriend of Alan McGee's. I think we said, well, if they're not playing, we're not gonna play. Man, Debbie really pulling through for them. Debbie didn't even know that I was coming up to that gig. Man, all these things really just came together for them. Just the timing of all these people. And it was like, I'm signing these. And the third song, I'm definitely signing these. I'm Alan McGee, do you want a record deal? And I said, who with? And he went creation records and I kind of recognized him. Just like that, that easy. <laughs> Mum was an angel, still is. Yeah, when I think of those times, you know what I mean? She kind of brought us up on her own, really. I was glad they were together in a band. I would not have wanted Lean in a band without Noel. McGee wanted to bring it on down to be the first single. And I was fine with that, I loved that song. But it wasn't coming together. Our drummer at the time wasn't the most consistent. And as bizarre as it sounds, wrote Supersonic in about however long it takes six other guys to eat. A Chinese meal. That is just insane. And we nailed it and mixed it that night. The day that Supersonic came out, bang, the crowd are right there. Trouble seemed to find us at any given point. 
We're barred from a full chain of hotels. That is some crazy rock and roll behavior. Being banned from an entire hotel chain? <laughs> Can't even imagine, you know, the headspace that you would have to be in to trash a hotel that badly and that consistently to get banned from a hotel chain. Good. The best band <laughs> of ours today on the planet. It's just so cocky, but like I said, if you got it, guess you're not wrong. I said, are you sitting down? I've got some news. Everybody's been arrested. The only word he said was brilliant. We were getting the reputation as these bad boys of rock and roll. We still like being brothers in the band. I mean, if you row, what sort really? of things do you row about? Everything. Everything. That's such a like terrible relationship to have. Liam's like a dog, and I'm like a cat. Finally, I have all members of Floyd. One's one way, one's the other. Noel has a lot of buttons. Mm. Liam has a lot of fingers. Uh, it's just so sad. The trouble with ICE is you had two people vying for the Prime Minister job. Mm. Competing egos. Everybody else surrounding the band kept chanting this mantra, oh, it doesn't sound like they do live, it doesn't sound like they do live. Who does the live sound? Mark does. So let's go do it live. Just knowing how talented they were, that album probably still sounded incredible. But it's also great that all these other people knew that it wasn't to their full potential. What can people expect from the first Oasis album? Twelve songs that are about being alive and having a good time. We know we're the greatest band in this country. Right. I love it, man. They just know that they can come across as arrogant. But also, like I said, they know how great they are. And they can definitely back it up. The next thing you know, we were going to Japan. What do you expect? I haven't been to Japan. People waiting for us and shouting my name, Liam, Liam, no, quick, foreign. That must have been even more insane back in the day, you know, without internet or social media being where it is today. Like, I would say it's easier now to have fans from different countries, but back then, like also with these videos, I don't know where any of you are watching this video from, but the fact that people from around the world are able to watch this video blows my mind. Why are all these people who don't speak English obsessed with it already before we even f***ed in and played? That really just shows how great their music is. It goes beyond language and culture. I was definitely angry with life and that, I guess, you know what I mean? You know, with me dad and just life in general. He used to kill Noel. Noel was the one that got it the most. Yeah, my dad used to beat the living daylights out of me. This obviously had to have such a huge impact on both of their lives. I wouldn't say I was scarred, but everybody's childhood makes them what they are. I think it benefited me in the way that it made me withdraw into my own world. And from that came the learning to play the guitar. That's crazy. And it's almost exactly like the story of the kid with the hammer in the beginning. Someone had discovered the joys of crystal meth. No, oh, no. Like ninja speed. We get to the sound check. Everybody's been up all night and looked like it. Let's see what the uh, drugs and no sleep did to their performance or see how it's going to be affecting their performance. They were all playing different songs at the same time. I wonder what people in the audience actually thought of this performance. I left a little bit of me on that stage that night. After that night, it was more me mm. and them as opposed to us. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I thought it was the end. He's gone missing. Nobody knows where he is. I got his bill. And then I traced all the last numbers he rang. <laughs> We've just been to San Francisco. That is some incredible detective work. I may have been trying to teach somebody a lesson and failed miserably. And the new era started when he walked back into that old cell. Knowing that Champagne Supernova was coming up and that he wasn't going to be able to play those songs. As it went through that American tour, it got really nasty with Sony. He's not going to be able to do these next songs. Oh, I don't want him to do it, you know what I mean? Listen, I've got some bad news for you. The band want you out. Getting kicked out of Oasis and not being part of, you know, Wonderwall, Don't Look Back in Anger, Champagne Supernova, like he was saying, that for sure would eat me up to this day. Morning Glory was incredibly quick and easy. Noel had the songs and the arrangements, and he was totally in control of the band. So we walking down the hall, faster than... Ah, uh, 
Such a good song. The bouts of the blues. <laughs> I love that. You just casually record one of the greatest songs of all time and then just hanging out with your friends watching football. Somebody let a fire extinguisher off in the farmhouse. Mm. I think maybe one of my guitars got damaged and I blamed him. I ended up having a proper fight with Liam. I mean, it might have been the biggest fight we ever had. Uh, just all this fighting and damage that's being done. Every time there was ever a scene in Oasis, when we'd all get back together, it was like nothing had ever happened. Marcus arrives and says, Griggs wants to leave the band. Any kind of chaos going on around you would shut down, do you know what I mean? Bass players are like that. There's no way that could have been easy being surrounded by all that chaos and fighting. We must be the biggest bunch of in the world. Yeah, all these people throwing away, you know, this huge opportunity to be in one of the greatest bands of all time just kind of shows you how just like toxic it must have been. Liam clearly would have liked to have had my talent as a songwriter. And uh, there's not a day go by where I don't wish I could rock a Parker like that man. It's such a silly thing to be jealous about. <laughs> on me to be a singer until he started walking off stage in the middle of gigs and singing them songs the way I sing them is like being in a boxing match it takes its wear and tear he's a great song right and always will be but singing's my gig all these egos and jealousy today was gonna be the day they were gonna throw it back to you morning glory took on a life of its own after wonderwall and then Don't Look Back in Anger came consecutively as singles. And they're not extraordinary songs because of anything that I did. It's the millions of people since who sing them back to you to this day. That's probably like the most humble thing that he said. Without doubt the biggest band around in Britain at the moment is Oasis, the fastest selling album of the decade. Uh, the one voted for by the fans means a lot. Anything that's voted for by fans is, is special. Anything that's voted for by idiots, corporate pigs. Means nothing to us. That was a pretty incredible statement that I do appreciate. We were the biggest band in the country and we didn't give a f. You can write anything you want about us inside, but as long as we're on the cover, they don't matter. That's what I signed up for, you know what I mean? Liam, can we have a big picture? Yeah, similar to Amy, this paparazzi is just truly out of control. The people behind the scenes were determined to make it a brand. It was even hard to get on the guest list some days. And I think the spirit of any band rapidly disappears and it's all about the money i do recall mark coming up to me and saying i don't think i can do it anymore yeah things have just changed so drastically and they already had such a high you know you might as well leave at this point especially since things are starting to go a little downhill All these songs are just way too good. Ireland saw them as their own. I mean, everybody was in such a good mood. My dad, we'd seen him mm. skulking around, and I thought, where the f is this going on? Do you think Liam's a little bit upset? To give Noel his due credit, he contained Liam. Can't even imagine what would have happened. Like, you could have gotten real ugly. Poor old f dad's trying to get in touch with his famous sons, but they don't want anything to do with him. All that bollocks. Uh, how annoying to now want to be part of the success of the children that you didn't raise. Somebody suggested that the next thing we should do should be these things at Nebworth. Here we go. Back to the start of the movie. When we got to Nebworth, we'd only just become rock stars. It did feel like the end of something as opposed to the beginning of something. We were the last. We were the greatest. Nothing anybody does can be as big as Oasis. That it was the last great gathering of the people before the birth of the internet. That's a pretty incredible statement. This is history! This is history! A man is special people change. A man allows to live is strange. Imagine being with 250,000 other people singing the same song, watching Oasis, with you know no phones. Incredible. It was everything and more than I asked for. What's great about that is the 2.6 million people, not anything that P did. If anything, that's what Oasis was. And there we have it, Oasis Supersonic. And the 824 logo to close us out. 
All right, there we have it. Movie number 43, Oasis Supersonic. I really enjoyed this movie, watching this band quickly rise to fame. And unfortunately, you know, we see all of these negative things that happened within the band and how toxic everything was. But despite all of that, coming together to create incredible music, a lot of times in this movie and definitely in their interviews, it showed how arrogant they were. Yet I really liked how many times throughout the movie, they also said that Oasis was really about the fans and the people that listen to their music coming together to buy their tickets and having a connection with the music that we're producing. It really does suck how these brothers are just out for each other and you know always wanting to pick a fight. I'm really curious to know what kind of music we would have gotten if they you know put aside their difference and continue to keep going as the band. But anyways, really great movie showing the story of Oasis. Anyways, I'm looking at Letterboxd right now. This movie is sitting at 3.8 stars. I can't remember what I rated Amy. I'm pretty sure it was more than 3.8 stars. Let me check. So it looks like I gave it four stars and I think this movie is pretty similar. So I'll also be giving this movie four out of five stars. In terms of ranking though, I think I did enjoy Amy more than this one. So I'm gonna put this movie in the number 16 spot. So this is my current ranking of the first 43 A24 films. As always, let me know down in the comments what your thoughts were on this movie, what you rate it, what you rank it, and I'll see you next Thursday for the next video.